Mr. President, Virendra Sharma, Member of Parliament, Minister from India High Commission, my friend Raj Shekha, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Can I first of all say how delighted I am to be invited to this particular function? This afternoon, Nick Clegg paid us a visit, and the first thing he said to me, would you please give, on my behalf, my thanks to the United Kingdom Telugu Association, who was likely to be our chief guest today, but unfortunately he's been tied up in a number of delicate and, 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 and tr troublesome uh, coalition arrangement in Downing Street. But I just want to say on his behalf that he is sorry not to be able to be present here. That's the first thing. The second thing is, whether he's here or not, it doesn't matter. What matters most is that you are here. Because Virendra, I, Rajrumba have always said that the real place for the community, the Indian community, in the way they are advancing, is not only to create our social structures, not only to create our economic base, to be able to be part of a political process. And that is why I believe not only should you be here having your functions, but much more than that, I want to see many of you from this community coming up as members of parliament, members in the House of Lords, in almost all walks of life. That is when I can say that we are part of a multicultural, multiracial society. And not only that, but that we have a stake in this country and we make contribution to the betterment of the country in which we are living. The second message is a very important one. It is that we carry a very heavy responsibility. The India High Commission here looks after our interest. But it's much more than that. There are occasions when we have to act, every one of us, like Indian ambassador, as far as the progress and the development of India is concerned. It has made tremendous stride I remember when I first came to this country, as early as 1956, India's image was a country where there was high unemployment, there was hunger, there was famine, there was poverty, there was disease. That was the image in 1956 when I came to this country, much after the independence. Now you look at India in the way it is thriving. Look at its economic development. Look at the advancement of women in India. Look at the way young people are progressing. Do we know that over 60% of India's population is under 25? I travel across the world as part of my parliamentary duties. And Virendra and I, wherever we are, one thing we notice, whether we are in South America, North America, Australia, wherever we go, is the extent to which our community is making inroads in various parts of the world. It is so very exciting. <laughs> now, I always give an example. I have a son-in-law, an Englishman, who was once raising funds for Raj Lumba's charity. And he decided to walk from the Resolute Bay in Canada to the magnetic North Pole, and hoping that people will sponsor him, and he'll raise the money for his fund. And when people in Resolute Bay which is a remote Eskimo place in Canada, found out that he was going to walk to the North Pole. They say they will set up a reception for him in the little mayor's parlor in one of the places in Resolute Bay. So the appointed time, my son-in-law goes to this particular place with Eskimos and everybody around him. And when he was taken into the council chamber, small council chamber, who does he meet as a mayor? A chap called Mr. Patel. <laughs> that shows you the extent to which the community has made India as a representative of India in various parts of the world. And I always say again and again, that anywhere in the world you go and you don't meet an Indian, then one thing is certain, you are lost. <laughs> the next thing I want to say is the event that we are celebrating. Makkah Sakranti, you call it? We in Gujarat have Makkah Sakranti, which is rather different. There's a kite flying festival on 14th of January, 
And uh, there's big competitions going on at this moment, waiting for 14. And that is the day when the weather suddenly changes from winter into summer or spring. What I find very exciting about India, the extent to which we celebrate so many of our important occasions, because India is colorful. It's not simply a question of development and economy.